Hey, what's up, guys? It's Trainer Clayton here, and I just want to start this video off with an apology. Uh, as you know, if you watch my Tepo Finney guide, I'm going to San Jose Regionals. Hit me up on Instagram at Ace Trainer Clayton if you want to know more. However, I am going to San Jose Regionals, and the last week has just been complete crunch time getting all my stuff set up, getting my team ready, and I'm actually still doing that. I just wanted to make a video because I felt like I, I knew I hadn't made a video in a while, and I just really wanted to make one. So I'm making all my very favorite Gen 7 Pokemon, Araquanid. Araquanid is a freaking beast. I'm not even lying. Like I, This is why I love it. So first off, it's a spider, a water spider, which is pretty freaking cool in itself. And its ability, water bubble. So, okay, I'm going to go over water bubble real quick. It has a damage of fire type attacks done to it, so basically it gives it a resistance to fire. Making it like basically just a water type, but it adds bug for weakness to flying and rock. However, yeah, basically resistance to fire. Can't be burned, which is also very good. Dealing with like Torkoal Heat Wave and um, just may Arcanine could target it, but Water Bubble gives it a resistance basically. And then the big whammy for this ability is that its water type attacks do double damage. So it's like. Almost another stab boost, as you can see. Let me look at it. Uh, prevents the Pokemon blah, 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 from getting burned. It also doubles the water attack. So, yeah. Uh, looking at its stats. We don't even know about any of this. But looking at its stats. Uh, special defense, really good. Uh, defense is okay. It's okay to work with. We can work with it. Speed is low, which is pretty, pretty decent because... Uh, just trigger running around everywhere. Special attack, we don't really need to worry about that. HP relatively low, and its attack is mediocre, but we can still work with it with that amazing water bubble ability. So, yeah, it evolves from Dewpider at level 22. We don't really need to know about that. Looking at its move pool, um, it gets liquidation, which is really good. Lower their defense. Um, it also gets lunge, which is somewhere, yeah, level 45 lunge. Uh, lower their attack. Uh, TM moves, it gets Poison Jab, it gets Exeter, which is kind of bad compared to Lunge. And I look at this Pokemon like, okay, does it have any sustain? Does it have anything to keep itself from uh, not surviving, from getting knocked out from huge attacks? And then I see Leech Life, and I'm like, oh my gosh, because it got a buff. Uh, it does 80 base power. It says 20, but it actually does 80 base power. So it's basically like a Lunge, but instead of dropping their attack you gain half of their max uh, have your max health, or half the damage that you did back which is super good so yeah leech life is a big yes for me lunge and liquidation is very good and poison jab is also sweet so other moves it learns scald by tm however knowing that special attack is that bad i'm not even gonna bother with it some people like to run an av set with scald Lunge, Leech, Life, and Liquidation, however, I have different spreads and sets. Well, actually, the thing is, with all the sets that I made, I made three sets, and all of them have the same EV spread. The only difference is that it's either 4 in Defense or 4 in Special Defense. And I don't really think it's a big difference, because st stuff that's doing a lot, a lot, a lot of physical attacks is going to be knocking it out anyway, if it's hitting for super effective. Otherwise, it'll probably live, because it's a Raquinid and it's a beast. So yeah, if, if it's getting hit by, like, Instruct Rock Slide from, I don't know, Gigalith, then that's where you have a problem. However, I don't really think there's a way to escape that. And another reason I love Araquanid is because it basically beats Oranguru Torkoal Lilligant on its own, as long as you can keep it alive. Which is a big, big, big green flag for me because I see that everywhere. And it just, it frightens me. I, it gives me nightmares, but then I remember that Araquanid is with me to tough it out with me. So, yeah, this is its sprite. It's pretty freaking awesome. I love it shiny as well. I don't have a shiny one, but I do have a 6IV a six IV one. I just bred it. It's amazing. I love it. Uh, I just can't express how much I love this Pokemon. But yeah, running into the sets. This is my first set that I made up. And these are the potential partners. Uh, you can check them out, but uh, I will go over those later. Uh, this is my, um, primary set. This is the one I'm probably going to be using the most if I were to use Araquanid. So, it runs, uh, the Water Z Crystal, 
and I will explain that later. It has a water bubble, of course, because water absorb is not very good. It does give it sustain, but water bubble is just too good to pass up. And otherwise, this attack would just be complete garbage. Uh, Leech Life and Lunge. Two bug type moves, however, they, do, they both serve different purposes. Leech Life is mainly for sustain, and Lunge is for that matchup where they're hitting a lot of damage, physical damage, and you just want to kind of mitigate that so you can lunge and get their physical attack down. Liquidation, best water type move it gets aside from Waterfall, but Liquidation, yeah, does five base power more. And, uh, yeah, she's crazy. Protect because it's Protect and staple on all non-choice or assault as Pokemon. Any EV spread it. Oops, I need to add the foreign defense. <coughs> Excuse me. Still a little bit sick. But, yeah, 252 HP, you need that because, or else it won't really, like, stay alive very long. And 252 attack just because this attack is so bad. And we need to have some way to work with it. Uh, just buff the defense because I don't really feel like we need to buff the special defense anymore because it's already going to be taking a lot of hits. So I ran Calcs. And uh, yeah, let's check it out. This is against Tapu Bulu. I added Poison Jab because this is on some of my other sets, or one or two of my other sets. And uh, this is mainly for Tapu Bulu. So if you don't have another answer to Tapu Bulu, you can like get rid of Lunge for Poison Jab to deal with Tapu Bulu. So, yeah, same spread, and, um, all of it, it does quite a bit of damage. Uh, Poison Jab does over half, and I put Psychic Train here, because you saw right here, Tepa Lele is one of the partners, which will bring up Psychic Train, so as long as you can win the Train War, you should be good. Otherwise, you guys to Train, Tepa Lele just completely wrecks you. But Psychic Train, what you can do is Wood Hammer, the Wood Hammer, you eat it. And then you leech life in return, and you gain some HP back, and they would hammer again. Hopefully they won't knock you out. That's a that's a damage roll, but that's how I'd play this out with Tapu Bulu, and then poison jab for the knockout. So, yeah, I mean it, you might get a knockout if you got max roll and leech life and like mid roll and poison jab, that wouldn't work. But um, it's it's always damage rolls. But there's no other way to really escape Tapu Bulu. Tapu Bulu is a really bad Pokemon for this situation, which is why I want Tapu Lele. To kind of mitigate the uh, grassy terrain. So yeah. Next calc. Up against Tapalele. Liquidation does a lot. And Psychic doesn't do that much in return. So. Um, Tapalele is actually another problem. For this Pokemon. So we do need a counter for that. They're going to be running a Raconid. Because. <coughs> excuse me. You can run your own Tapabulu. But then you'll need to run your own counter for Tapabulu. So, like a Marowak Alola or um, Arcanine, Torkoal, Under Tea Room, of course, anything like that. So, as you can see, Liquidation does a lot of damage. So, here and Grassy Train doesn't even do half, which is super good. So, yeah, it all depends on what type of Pokemon you're on. But if you're running Tapu Lele, like I probably would, then I'm going to have a problem with opposing Tapu Leles. Next, Calc. Uh, it's actually a, not a Z-move. This is up against Marowak Alola, just showing the sheer power of Araquanid with max attack versus a max HP, four defense Marowak Alola. Uh, Liquidation just knocks out without even a Z-move. These next three calcs, I believe, are Z-moves. Yeah, uh, Liquidation Z-move. Uh, Oko's Oranguru. And the reason I put it in Psychic Train is because I wanted to see how much damage Oranguru Psychic could do. And he, Oranguru has to have... Um, at least 180 defense and 252 HP, um, without a plus nature, without, like, bold or whatever, um, I think it's relaxed, where it's minus speed plus defense, I'm not sure. But one of those natures, bar one of those, you need at least 180 defense, 252 HP, to even have any chance of living a water Z move from this Pokemon. Uh, next up is against Garchomp. Um, Water Z move, Oko's it, uh, versus zero HP, zero defense. I'm pretty sure if you added up uh, four points in HP or four points in defense, it still wouldn't matter because you're doing 15.3% over the ma over 100%. That's a mineral, so I'm pretty sure it shouldn't matter. And uh, it doesn't really do much in return. Dragon Claw is not even a two hit KO. So uh, this last calc is up against Arcanine. I believe without a Z move. It's not guaranteed to knock out with max HP. 
and uh, under Intimidate, at least, so minus one. Uh, regular, I believe, let's just say plus one. Regular, it for sure knocks it out, but minus one, it's a problem. So that's why I added the water Z move. If you're minus one, then you could just watch. You could just Hydro Vortex, the Arcanine, and it will be knocked out. So yeah, let's go over the other sets. Uh, these are not my personal sets. Well, I made them, but these are not my personal preference for a set. This is the Soul Vest. It just runs the four attacks that I showed in the calcs. And then this Eevee spread with Adamant Nature. Um, basically, this is just to be a special defensive tank and take all the hits. And uh, this is the lefties variant. No lunge, because you're going to be healing damage back, and then you have leech life to keep yourself sustained. And, yeah. Now we're on to potential partners. We have Crocodile. Um, I believe Crocodile is pretty good, because it can mitigate the rock and electric weakness. And even though it's weak to grass, um, Araquanid can either hit, it with, either hit the opposing grass-type Pokemon with bug type moves or poison type moves as you do on the poison jab. So yeah, Crook is just pretty good. And even though it's weak to bug, you can always run Pokemon like Marowak Alola, for example. Um very, very powerful Pokemon. I cannot stress how powerful this Pokemon is. Whew! Thick Club gives it double attack, which is amazing. Uh Lightning Rod can um not It'll basically soak up all the electric attacks from opposing Zerka trees, Raichu, Alolas, if they take Thunderbolt, Tapu Koko, especially. And yeah, it does give another weakness to Rock, but if you run Crook and Marowak Alola with uh, Arachnid, you have yourself a pretty decent core. So yeah. And then Tapu Lele, I've already mentioned this. Uh, the reason I didn't run a Life Orb, or I didn't show a Life Orb set, is because I'm probably going to be running Tapu Lele if I ever run. Araquanid, so yeah, I didn't want to have two life orbs. And then this is my other set that I featured in my Tapalele guide. Go ahead, check that out. Shameless, shameless self promotion. I'm very sorry. I cannot speak today. But yeah, I guess that's pretty much all for today. Hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a subscribe or <laughs> hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you all later. Peace out, trainers.